don't worry, Corn is here. He's right. Oh, he's in frame now. Beautiful. The beautiful people are here. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful people are here. And welcome to another Fish and Corn show. And we have a lot in tune. Um, a lot in, uh, how do they say it on TV? They say a lot in store. In store, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot in store for you. <clears throat> Let me ask you something. When you hear the term beautiful people, yeah, w what comes to mind? Uh, <laughs> probably someone white. <laughs> I mean, honest these days. I'm dead serious. Even it's convinced me. You know what I mean? So much talk about white folk. I oh, it's on our list here. We have a list. We gonna be that. Today. Yeah, we have notes, and it's, it's talking. I will jump to it. I went to go see Trevor Noah at the the fair, right. and uh, how's that? Well, talking about what you say, who are the beautiful people? It didn't go. It went along those lines. It's the white people because he talked about his South African roots. Uh huh. Because you know he's from South yeah, Africa, yeah, yeah. has a yeah. black or white he's someone. A, he's multiracial. Yeah. He's multiracial. And of course, being in South Africa, you got to decide on the, what side your color is. Uh -huh. It's not you can say, hey, I'm on the white side because I'm part white. Yeah. You look dark, you are dark. But my understanding is that like in South Africa, like people that, that are biracial are like considered a different race. Really? Yeah. yeah, they're colored, there's blacks, and then there's whites. It's, you know, it's the same bullshit that they had going on here, you know? Trevor Noah said something about, you know, because he talks about uh, racism, white pr uh, privilege, mm -hmm. and he talked about, um, what is kind of cool, he was kind of, he just kind of just blow off, yeah, I think he felt the crowd out to see about the po you know, politics, because he was just being funny at the beginning, mm -hmm. like, normal observations. But he went on the thing about um, when he got political that South Africa, where he's from, had the carte blanche, you know, the best racism there. Oh, yeah. Well, of course. You, you, <laughs> had it, you had it out in the open and institutionalized. You had it in government. It was like the South on steroids. That, yeah, that's what he you know? kind of alluded to. And I just wondered if you knew how that, if that's how it worked. And the, the history of South African apartheid. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Should I, see, you learned something here on the Fish and Corn Show. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you learned something. And uh, let's see. I didn't see anything back on the fair, because that's where Trevor Noah was, uh -huh. corn. <laughs> Did you happen to have any? I didn't eat anything. <laughs> oh, I like a pig. Oh, with the, the fair? Yeah. Wait yeah. a second. Dude, we ate kettle corn. That's all we ate. That's all you ate? That's oh. all I ate. Okay, so I had the uh, bacon wrapped, uh, what do you call it, baked potato. Uh, oh, shit. With uh, buffalo sauce and blue cheese. Oh, that was the shit, man. I Good? love that. Is it deep fried? Uh, well, I, I assume it's fried at some point because the fucking bacon is baked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But and everything at the fair is pretty much pretty some much, kind of fried. Right. That that was the best. I love that. Was uh, it good to go for retail? Um, ten bucks. <sighs> yeah, it was about ten bucks. Yeah, everything's fucking expensive, dude. Uh, but you know, it, it's it is what it is. Man. I mean, yeah, it's the fair. Yeah, yeah, everybody has them. You go the to the fair to spend a shitload of money on food that's bad for you, and you know, just enjoy it. Don't worry about it. You, you can pretend that you're a gym rat next week. You know what's kind of cool on the flip side of that, and I guess it goes into our other thing about uh, street vendors and stuff like that. Uh -huh. You go to, if you want the healthy side of uh, kind of like that whole fair thing, you go to the farmer's market or you go to you know, like the swap meet or something. Because by and large, the unhealthiest fucking kind of outside of a brick and mortar restaurant is the fucking fair. They have these like trailers and they have these big old fucking advertising. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, <clears throat> it is... The swine food extravaganza. I, I mean, but I mean, that's the whole point of the fair, right? I mean, you're not going there to, you know, put on your vegan hat and, you know, show off your uh, CrossFit uh, bona fides, right? You're, no, then you're, you're, you're getting there to, You're there to drink and eat and look at animals and, you know, did, watch did, people and that's about it, man. Did I, I get on some rides? Speaking of which, did I tell you that I, uh, I went to the... 92.5 <laughs> birthday bash. Did I okay, tell you that? No. So, you know, it has been a lot of veterano kind of mm -hmm. girls. And like, you know, there was this one girl, kind of big. Well, it goes into her shirt. It's in that old English style. 
the the scripting on the shirt. Oh, oh I got she a had a tattoo on. on her chest. No, no, no. It's this I'm talking about the shirt. Oh, her chest. Uh, her t-shirt. Yeah, it's black and it's like a baby tee thing. But she's like maybe she's seventy good pounds too too big, heavy to heavy be to wearing, wearing that something outfit. like that. Yeah, yeah. And it said tacos before vatos in old English. Clearly, so it was a ninety. Well, clearly, year. that's her issue, <laughs> dude. There are some people there, corn that. You know they went to eat dinner before the show because the show uh, starts, you know, seven right, eight, right, right. and uh, the the sports arena has food, right? Right. There's people there, like this group of girls, just like you know from the day. Uh huh. You know, at one point they had the Aquanet shit going on, right. fucking just gorging on like burger combos, dude. Not even splitting, dude. It's like me and Fish Woman were so like aghast, like fuck. <laughs> we just came from dinner. You guys probably did too. And you're going to just blow out and eat burgers <laughs> each. Dude, I don't know about eating at a concert. Or no. even drinking at a concert. I went to a concert with my kid sister the other day. I, Who? To, I don't know. Some act she, she bought uh, fucking... Here in town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to that... Uh, Sleep train or whatever. whatever the, the, fuck, the mattress, that, whatever. That mattress firm bullshit thing. But, yeah. Okay. So I went to that, right? I was shocked how much they're charging for wine. How 10 much bucks, is, 10 bucks. Uh-uh. 14 bucks. More. Fifteen Try twenty-two dollars for the little plastic cup. Well, no, no, no. They give you a little, a little twenty-ounce carafe of uh, of wine for twenty is something a, bucks, dude. Is it a glass of wine, or is it? No, it's like a little carafe. It's maybe two glasses of wine. Okay, but it's twenty. The bucks. beer. How much is the beer? Seventeen bones for the smallest one. And there's only one size, and it's domestic. There's right? craft, and then there's the domestic. But seventeen bones for a beer. Dude. <clears throat> That's pretty. It's getting up there. That's. I mean, <clears throat> no way, you know, no way. <laughs> I, I, on principle, refuse to buy anything there. And, and no, my no. sister kept saying, no, come on, man, let's get... No, it's on not... On It's not, it's not, not about having about the money. money. It's about, who the fuck do you think you are charging me 17 bucks for a beer? And you know what's funny and about I mean, these things? I've paid that much for a drink. Don't yes, get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, no, we've talked okay? about it on the corn but show, fishing it corn comes show. with eye candy. And... You kind of went in going, yeah, you, you went know, in knowing, knowing what you, you were hey. getting, yeah, but come on. Which is a once in a lifetime for the fish at least. I, you yeah, know, I'm I, never doing that. I either. ask people about these clubs in Vegas. I, I ask them about these people about, uh, maybe for our 300s, no, should the, come the up, thing should is, we go to a club? I kept obsessing <laughs> over the, the, the fecal matter content in that pool. Oh, you need liquor. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't get past that. I'll take a liquor. Oh, you could have all the sexy bodies going by <laughs> me the whole goddamn day and... All I'm doing is holding my drink above water, thinking, I hope none of that water you gets in my drink. We should go down. You want to know a moneymaker? We could get into a new drug game. We could stand outside of these pool parties in the summer and say, hey, we got Z-Packs, man, Z-Packs. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You might want one. We just scare them. <laughs> my kid brother over there, he's a doctor. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> he's selling it. I'd buy a Z-Pack. <laughs> Prophylactic. Uh, no, 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 How no. How much do you think like, we can there's make? A, actually, there's a... Uh, there's a movement in the gay uh, world uh, that prophylactically takes this drug um, to prevent HIV infection. Uh, truly, Vitruvia or Truly, some bullshit like that. Anyway, there's like a group of people already out there prophylactically dosing themselves. Wow. In anticipation of engaging. See, we don't need, we come up, we think of the wildest things, but it's being done in the world. It's already out there. But how much do you, I mean, saying people, get, you get in there drunk, oh my god, I did swim in that pool. You know, it's like, we have these like little cards saying how much fecal matter and <laughs> urine. To- uh, can you imagine how quickly the security would shut you down if you start posting, you know, fecal matter content, uh, uh, you know, little cards at, at, at the line at some of these pool parties? You know what, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> Going back mm. to then, we knew it getting into the water, but post pool party, because I've been to a couple of since then pool parties um, around town, mm-hmm. like the Lafayette, having not gone in the water. Mm-hmm. Would you have gone in the water that day in Vegas? I know it was over 100 degrees, but you know what? I technically could have stood outside the and problem. sat. There was a lot Here, of seats. Here's the problem. Uh, All the party is in me, the pool. Well, not just that, but... <laughs> there's no one sitting me around. Me and liquor, when we're together, 
you'll get a piss. Before judgment comes along. Because <laughs> we were standing in that water for, you know, the whole time. Yeah. I mean, it was hot as hell. Yeah, and I guess we could, we said, well, should we get in the water? And it's like, yeah, why not? In for a penny, in for a pound, dude. <laughs> but we did not, I didn't swim underwater like some of these cats. <laughs> yeah, no way. Dude. We talked about that on the show, but um, yeah, we've got a full uh, couple of shows here. And uh, we already covered in the, uh, the, the um, Trevor Noah thing. And um, where are we at now in time? Ten and a half minutes. So now we could, I could, we, I guess we could segue into the next uh, episode. Um, that's right, tacos before vatos. That was really funny. Oh, speaking about the the hood, I got this right here, corn, because my our friend in Berkeley uh, with the drones, uh huh, and um, <clears throat> he came down. We went to go play golf, and this is my country club. It's called National City Golf Club. You know, I was thinking about a couple of things about that place, like <laughs> yeah, Trump International. <laughs> That's how far... You know, that's the thing. Regardless of how ugly the whole Trump thing is, at some level... Because We're all of the, the same. Time, because of the time we spent at the golf course, I kind of know the kind of mentality that engages in that kind of shenanigans, and you can't necessarily think that it's all evil. Mm-mm. It's just misguided and stupid. Yes. It's misguided and stupid, but, you know, we're talking about... You know, that's, that's the kind of place... You know, it ain't like his golf clubs, you know. But we have a show. I'm sure, you know, you talk to these, like, Fox people. What's that chick's name? The blonde who's in trouble now? No, we're on the There's hot always seat. some blonde in What's trouble. What's her name? Like she was with Fox. Um, she got canned, and then she went on to... Oh, uh, Megan Kelly? Megan Kelly's in the news. But, you know, they sport around not National City Golf Course. Fish, I mean, our friend in Berkeley. Back to the drone guy. The drone guy comes down. I say, we're going to play my course. That's like a players club over there. Which one is it? Oh, National City. Oh, dude, my friend told me about that place. He got, uh, they got hit up. <laughs> like, they got into a fist fight. I said, well, a couple years ago, I almost got shot by a BB gun guy. <laughs> you know, you're on the third that hall. Like, like National City. <laughs> yeah, and I told him, people walking, he says, really? That? I said, dude, it's not that bad, but it has happened. It's National City. But, you know, that's all um, we can afford here. We, um, <laughs> at the, that's brings well, you in. can afford to, well, <clears throat> not with the frequency that you golf. We need to get, like I said, we've talked about it in earlier episodes. I guess we it's a revisit. To... During the, it's like the Jody Arias era. Mm-hmm. On the show, we had these Jody Arias. Oh, shit. Be right back. 12.45. Uh, 